Hi there, welcome to this overview video. This is regarding Yuhi Zebra. And in this video, in fact, this video may be split into two videos. We're going to be discussing the oscillators. Again, it's an overview. I'm not going to go into depth on every single thing. And I'll tell you if I think it's important that you go and read up and stuff or what. But I'll go into as much detail as I think's appropriate in a overview video. Now the oscillators in Zebra are pretty, pretty vast. And as you can see, there's four tabs here. I'm only obviously going to go over one because they're all the same. Okay, so let's just open an oscillator. Now the first thing to look at are the switches. And that's these sections over here. You've got single, you've got dual, got quad, you've got 11. Is that exactly what it is? That's a single oscillator. That's two, that's four, and that's 11. Obviously you have D-Tune in single mode, D-Tune's pitch, I think it's plus or minus 50 cents. But if you go to Duo or any of the others, it's D-Tune spread. So as you can see, it's quite powerful sounding. So those are those are pretty self-explanatory, actually. Pretty easy to understand. Um, as you can see, when something's up like this, if you double click on it, it takes it back to its original setting. So in this case, zero. Okay, these things here. This one here. That's invert. Basically, it adds an upside-down copy of the original waveform. So at the minute, an oscillator one, we've got a sine wave, but it's adding an upside-down copy of that, which gives us almost a square wave. It doesn't add and subtract, it adds it. So let me just change that to that. Yes. See if I can find something. It's almost like a sine wave, it's not going to give us much. Yeah. Anyway, that's what it does. Um, this one here, this is sync, and it's an internal hard sync. Now, it's used in conjunction with this button in certain circumstances, and it basically adds lots of upper harmonics. I'll get to this sync button a bit later. But it's a hard sync. Yeah, it doesn't really, it does the same in dual quad and 11. It creates a hard sync feature, um, a hard sync process, which basically means when there's more than one wave being triggered at, at the same time, so it brings them back into unison with each other. So as soon as the, the first one's triggered, and then if you're in dual, say, in the phase of the, the, the oscillator waveforms is different, it will bring them back in. So when the first one starts, it tries to force the second one to start at the same time as well. It gives you a harder kind of cutting sound. Right, so... Can't really hear it with single because there's only one. Let me just put that on. That's it. Okay, but I'll go into a little bit more detail when I get to the sync section. And this last one here is basically just reset. What it means is, is the oscillator starts at the same phase position every time you push a key. So if you listen, you'll hear it starting. It's kind of different. It doesn't start at the same position all the time. Hear it moving. Now it's the same. Pretty self-explanatory, I would imagine. Okay, these main controls here. Um, we have wave, tune, detune, and vibrato. Wave is the position of the wave in the wavetable as 
shown in the oscillator one tab. So if I move this, see it moving, yeah? If I move that, this is the modulation control for that. So if I wanted to use LFO1 to control the position of the wavetable, now, depending on LFO1 settings and the amount here, it's moving up and down the wavetable. Then we have the tuning, which I guess is pretty self-explanatory. It tunes the oscillator's pitch by plus or minus 48 semitones. If you want to get finer than that, so if I go like that, minus 48, plus 48. If you hold shift down, you can do it in cents, see here? It's pretty fine, pretty self-explanatory. And this again is the modulation parameter for tuning. So if I go LFO1. Then we've got the detune, which has got, I kind of explained that earlier, but detune in single mode is basically just fine tuning the oscillator by plus or minus 50 cents. And you can hear that shift. When it's in anything else, it's a detuned spread. And it spreads all the oscillators. So for instance, there's four running on this at the moment. It spreads them all equally. And then we have uh, vibrato. Basically, it's the amount of pitch modulation that comes from LFO1, and it's 0 to 100. Uh, the maximum de depth is plus or minus 50, 50 cents. So whenever you create an initialize, you'll notice that there's always an oscillator, always an LFO1 and an envelope. And LFO1 is automatically assigned to the vibrato amount. You can hear it modulating there. Okay, you also probably notice that there's these three sections here. Phase, Sync, Os, FX and Mixer. You know, phase, they're all, again, pretty self-explanatory, but can get a bit crazy. You better not crazy, confusing, I suppose. So I suppose Phase, Sync section, you've got Phase, PW and Sync. So this basically adjusts the oscillator the oscillator's phase by zero from zero to 180 degrees. So normally that should only work in dual, I guess, because you're now you're now um, adjusting the phase of both oscillators. If, however. Put the invert switch on, it's like uh, pulse width modulation. Which is kind of interesting. Yeah, you can hear the, the pulse width modulation kicking in there. Quite interesting. And sync, again, this is a modulation parameter, so LFO1. Everything with three little dots is a modulation parameter. And then, of course, you've got sync, which I mentioned um, earlier. Basically, it offsets the internal hard sync effect. Um, it just adds lots of harmonics, really. Of course, you've got to have the sync feature on. That's getting digital now. It's almost sounding FM. Okay. Um, I'm going to do the next two sections in another video. Hope that was nice and easy for you to understand. See you in a bit.